Hello folks, Sports Ranger. Today I'm going to give some tips and ideas for the developer of Five Nights in Anime. So, I had to try and think this through, and probably something different, probably hopefully it'll help a lot. Eh, I hope so. So, on the tip wise, that after reading his Q&A, well, listening, that he's his game maker studio, which I have used before, and it's very complicated. So it must be a pain in the ass trying to do things with it. So the tips I could get, I could give him, is that maybe a certain sound effect when Foxy bangs on your door and maybe drains a little bit of power, like Foxy in Five Nights at Freddy's. Or maybe, instead of having the concept of the sound thing, you see her, you know, pressed across the window, she stays there for five seconds. If you open those, open the door between the five seconds, she goes in and bum to the face. And then once she's out the window, she's back to Pirate Cove. She's very active, so another tip is more of making her a little bit less active in night two. I know it's only a demo, but she's becoming like more active. Like instantly there, like you already know she's already gonna come for you. Like instead of like five nights at Freddy's, one if if it depends if you don't look at Foxy for a certain amount of time, he will run. And another tip I could give is maybe having one of the posters or maybe a poster of the anime Freddy. If you honk her nose, it makes the squeaky noise going hey hey. Or I would laugh if there was a plaque of Freddy's head, just like at One Night at Flumpty's 2, if there was a Freddy's head, a plaque of it, on the wall, and you just click the nose and it goes honk, and instantly, female Freddy's at the door. I would laugh if he put that in. But that's a tip right there. I can already tell, okay, if you remember in the first demo, like, there was a button in the center which shut both doors, and... Now it's buttons on the side, so it actually makes it more complicated now, because you're actually going to think, all right, got to make sure there's nothing on the left, and there's nothing there, so that's good as well. Um, I have some, I do have a bit of a complaint that when I play the game, that some reason the animations I see clipping, like, I still see the normal things, it doesn't cover the whole thing, I still see clipping, it's like a little bit, a little bit at the top, that the uh, death animation is not going to end near. I think it depends on monitors. Also, recording issues. When I tried to record normally, it, everything was just up to the top left. It was small. So I had to do a separate type of recording with Bandicam, which I had to... I can't remember, though. But if you like watch my... Um, at Spooky's Jump of House... What the hell am I saying? Spooky's House of Jump Scare, you'll see the little bar on the top left. I have to do that for Five Nights at Anime. So if the developer could fix that, that I'll be very grateful. That's something that might need to be fixed. And pretty much, and the power, I don't know if the power is deliberately going down fast. But in any case, it's actually mostly doing alright. You know, the game's pretty good, yeah, he it has to take his sweet time, because, come on, I guess if you're working on one game, it is going to take serious time. But I'm hoping for him when the game's finished, I'm really hoping to look forward to see what the full game is, because, you know, I've completed Night 1 and Night 2 without, I haven't even got killed once. I bet everyone else has gotten killed more than once, and I'm the only one who hasn't died. <laughs> also, could you add in Putis Heavy? You know, maybe his head, and you click his nose, he says Putis, because that would be funny for a TF2 meme. Or maybe Easter Egg? Well, in any case, I hope these will help, and if you want me to do more, I would kindly do so. Um, keep up with the game, I'm really looking forward to see what you're putting in next. And yeah, so concept, those are the things I have to say. Looking forward to night three, and yeah, it's actually pretty well done. Bit kinky side, but you know, gotta love it. Thank you very much, and see you next time.